Hello friends, today we are going to start Ethical Hacking course part 4. In this video, we are going to cover information gathering with Kali Linux tools and techniques. So, let's move to course outline. During that course, we are going through following steps. First, information gathering. Second, vulnerability assessment. Three, exploiting vulnerabilities. Four, escalating privileges. Five, password attacks. So we playing around the tools and techniques. Let's start with information gathering. One of the most important stage of attack is information gathering. To be able to launch an attack, we need to gather basic information about target. So the more information we get, the higher probability of success attack. In this session, we are going to cover below topics. Service enumeration, determine network ranges, identifying active machines, finding open ports, operating system fingerprinting, service fingerprinting, threat assessment with Meltigo, and mapping the network. First, service enumeration. In this session, we will perform a few service enumeration tricks. Enumeration is a process that allows you to gather information from a network. We will examine DNS enumeration technique in this case. DNS enumeration is the process of locating all DNS server and DNS entries for an organization. DNS enumeration will allow you to gather critical information about organizations such as username, computer name, IP address and so on. For DNS enumeration we are use DNS enum tool it's by default installed in Kali Linux. So now let's start by examining DNS enumeration. We will utilize DNS enum for DNS enumeration. To start the DNS enumeration, open up GNOME terminal and enter the following command DNS enum dash dash enum and domain google.com. So let's see by practically DNS enum dash dash enum and google.com and you can see the result it will find host addresses name server mail server also trying to zone transfer but do google do not allow that and you can also see the ip address here now next is there are some additional option we can run using dns enum and they are including the following dash dash thread and number that allow you to set how many process will run at once but keep in mind that more thread can generate more traffic so carefully to run that next is dash r allow you to enable recursive lookup dash d allow you to set the time delay in second between who is request dash o allow us to specify the output location we can save dns enum output to specific location and file dash v allow you to enable the who is query you can use another tools and technique to do same so move to next dns enumeration with fares to perform domain scan with fares tool that tries multiple technique to find all the ip address and host name used by target you can use multiple option with that tool so let's use one of them fares dash dns and domain name google and you can see here the same information we find previously it can also perform a test it may take time so we just move to our presentation and come back you can also use online tool to do that we are going to one of them pentest-tools.com i will show you the example here we are trying to zone transfer online type your domain here we just use google t9 is the answer and start and you can see here it search for a domain and it will find that domain and trying to transferring all transfer failed you can see here google is not allow that lots of technique available to enumerating dns record you can also follow my blog i have write some article on different topics kungfu hacking.blogspot.com it's my blog now next is determining network range with the gathered information obtained by following the previous step we can now focus on determining the IP address range from the target network we use different tools to determine network range I just start from Dimitri so we just see practically and you can see previous result here just stop that 
now Dimitri dash WNSPB and google.com and output to dash root text stopped and name the file call result and it will start our process you can see here the list of host IP addresses here we found 29 possible subdomain now it will start gather TCP port information and you can see here the name server here you can also see the creation date update date and expiration date it may take time so we just move to our presentation and come back when finished we should now have a text document on the desktop with the file name result.txt filled with information gathered from target next is to see an ICMP netmask request use netmask tool so we just use that just stop that you can see the result in text file here now move to next netmask test s and google.com and you can see the IP range here you can also use different tools from Kali menu I just show you application Kali Linux information gathering and uh, network scanner you can see the different information gathering tool Meltigo is another cool tool to information gathering we cover Meltigo in later topic in this video so move to next identifying active machines before we attempting a pen test we first need to identify the active machines that are on the target network range a simple way would be by performing ping on target network of course this can be reject or known by host and we don't want that so in that case using nmap we can find if a host is up or not so we just perform simple ping scan using nmap and map dash ping scan to dash sp option and 192.168.198.139 and you can see the host is up and its MAC address we can also using use nping it's a part of nmap suite which give us a more detailed view we can use different option with nping but I just perform simple scan and ping and IP address of your target and you can see here more detailed view it sends ICMP echo re request and echo reply we can also send some hex data to the specific port using nping so nping dash tcp dash port 445 dash data and your hex data and your target IP you can see here if the firewall configuration between your your machine to target that will not receive all of that data so that trick can be used for bypassing IDS or firewall now next is finding open ports with the knowledge of a victim network range and the active machines we will proceed with the port scanning process to retrieve the open TCP and UDP port and access point to being launch the terminal window and en enter the following command just use nmap and your target IP and map and target IP address and it will show you open ports and services you can also see here its MAC address we can also explicitly specify the port on scan in this case we are using specified 100 ports it will start from 1 to 100 so dash p to port option 1 to 1 through 100 and press enter and you can see here the list of open port from 1 to 100 range we can specify nmap to scan all the organization network on tcp port 22 by using dash p 22 option and just type star to scan whole network and ip, IP range and dash p 22 it will find all network ranges and find open ports you can see the result is here we can output the result to specified format from nmap whole range test o capital g and path root text stop and result one dot text txt and it will generate the result 
here you can see you can see here open ports and closed ports in different IP addresses we can also use Genmap for GUI version of Nmap I'll show you here Kali Linux menu information gathering network scanner and Genmap you can also open it by typing Genmap in terminal it will launch your GUI version just type your target 192.168.198.139 and select your scan ping scan and you can see the command you can also run that command to your terminal it will give the same out output we just select instant scan and start scan and you can see here open ports services and version you can also filter by services FTP HTTP you can also see the topology here also see the scan history here so that's all about finding open port <coughs> next is operating system fingerprinting and service fingerprinting in this point of the information gathering process we, we should now have documented a list of IP addresses active machines and open port identify from the target organization the next step in the process is determining the running operating system on the active machines in order to know the type of system we are pen testing. Using Nmap, we issue the following command with the dash capital O option to enable the OS detection feature. So we perform that Nmap with capital dash O option and your target IP address and you can see the operating system detail here you can also see the open ports and services here determining the service running on specific port will ensure a successfully pen test on the target network it will also remove a doubts about resulting from the OS fingerprinting process so first we use nmap to do that we need to run the following command version we need to perform version scan using nmap it will give you a detailed view of all services and you can see here FTP its version detail that's a great fe nmap features using a map we can also identify the application running on the specific port or a range of ports so we perform following command to do that a map dash pq range 1 for 1 to 500 and you can see here open ports services and its banner detail next is threat assessment with Meltigo in this session we are going with the use of special Kali edition of Meltigo which will aid us in the information gathering phase by representing the information obtained in an easy to understand format Meltigo is an open source threat assessment tool that is designed to de demonstrate the complexity and severity of single points of failure on the network. It has the ability to aggregate information about both internal and external source to provide the clear thread pictures. An account is required in order to use Meltigo. To register for the for account, go to the following link. We use Meltigo to map the network. Meltigo is an open source tool used to information gathering and forensics which was created by Petarva. Meltigo highly useful, useful because we are able to utilize the automation of quickly gathered information on the target such as gathering email addresses, servers, performing who is lookup and so on. So we just see the Meltigo in Kali Linux top 10 security tools and Meltigo. You can also run through command line just by simply typing Meltigo and it will open up in GUI mode. You have to register first and use that Meltigo. You also need to log in with credentials and I just switch on to full screen. You can create new graph from here. Now we perform domain information, DNS information. So click and drag to your main view double click on Petarva and change it to google.com press enter now right click run all transform you can do all of that things we just run DNS from domain and select 
all in this set it will launch all that lookups and transfer name etc switch to full mode full screen and you can see here how it's reliable you can also drag drop graph here you can also zoom it from here and you can see here different google server mail server dns server web server etc so meltigo has a great feature i also write an article on meltigo you can find on my blog kungfuhacking.blogspot.com you can see here my blog i'll post article on different topics analyzing dns records using meltigo i'll also make a video on it you can find here brief information about meltigo how to set up and all that thing so that's all about our part 4 please subscribe and give your feedback your feedback is important for me and thanks for watching this video thank you so much